Redditors who work in retail, what's the saddest thing someone ever returned? I helped a woman 7 month pregnant and her husband pick out a whole baby set for their new baby. Stroller, crib, car seats, clothes and all. The stroller was a high end model that we didn't sell many of. So it stood out to me. A month later I saw the same stroller, car seat and crib in the return bin. When I asked about it my manager said that the woman and her husband were hit by a drunk driver and killed. Her mother returned the items. A man returned a Christmas tree one year. He was pretty bummed out, and when I asked him about it, he told me that he was supposed to have visitation this Christmas but his ex refused to let him see his kids. I still think about that guy. I hope he gets his kids this year. I worked at a subway for a year, and we shared the building with a jewelry store. It was a small business and we always made a salad for the owners, free of charge. One day a customer at their store is incredibly enthusiastic about buying an engagement ring for their so. He told the entire subway crew how he met her after his mother died and that they've been seeing each other for almost 5 years. He kept saying how he was happy that he found someone who makes him truly happy and that all the challenges in his life were necessary for him to find true love. He came back a few days later. The light from his eyes was gone. He was returning the ring. I talked to the owners later that day after he left, and apparently she broke it off with him, because she fell in love with someone else. It was really sad to watch. Once I was at a pawn shop looking for a new amp, when a guy came in wanting to return an engagement ring he bought the day before. He said he'd caught his girl cheating when he went home early to surprise and propose to her. Of course, they wouldn't just exchange it or give him his money back, but they did offer to buy it back from him for way less than he paid. He ended up selling it back to them for, from what I could tell from what I could make out of what he was saying, much less than he bought it for. Poor guy was extremely distraught over his whole ordeal. Two middle aged ladies, apparently sisters, were having the time of their life in my department. One bought a ton of assorted houses, including some relatively inexpensive, but very distinctive colored glass vases. We chatted throughout. They were fun. I kept thinking how much of a real joy it had been to deal with them. The next week, she came back to return the vases. When I asked the reason for the return, expecting oh, the color slash size didn't work, like I expected she embarrassedly explained that impulsive purchases were a problem in her manic states. Customers regularly come in with large amounts of baby supplies returns. They get the wrong gender items or duplicates. An older woman came in with a cart load, so I asked about the new baby. She slowly and through tears, explained that her only child and grandbaby had died during childbirth. <laughs> Judd Allen bought like 15 families Christmas at the Target I worked for. I mean like big ticket stuff for everyone like TV, iPad, etc. It was something like 15k total. The next day, since I was the security manager, I was screamed at by 8 of those families that wanted to do returns for cash saying I was ruining their children's Christmas. I made it to my lunch break before I camped out. A guy was returning baby formula and he was looking pretty down. I asked him how his day was and he said that he has been having a long day and that he's been having a long month too. I thought he just had a baby so maybe he just got the wrong formula. I asked if he just had a baby, and he said he used to have a baby. I told him I was sorry, and he said it was okay. There were a few minutes of silence and he said he was a fun little guy. Returned her husband's replacement razors. I asked her if he was unsatisfied and maybe wanted another kind slash style. Nope. He died earlier before his birthday to receive them. She started crying, and I just leaned over the counter to console her. Oh wow. Who knew this would hit a chord with so many people? Well a little more background if interested. I was the lead at a certain store advertising a wild beyond section so as stated below I told her I had lost my best friend nearly a decade ago, and to this day the tiniest memory or smell can bring up moments that make me emotional so not to feel embarrassed over a pack of razors. Then, abusing my position of trust, I couponed the hell out of her purchase and talked with her a while. It's rare in retail, but there are those moments where despite the din around you and the mounting lines you have to be a human and just listen about someone's day. So she and I chatted a while and I never saw her again. A set of Mr. and Mrs. Pillows. 
She had a tan line, where her engagement ring was, a black eye, and her neck in a brace. It turns out the fiancé K was abusive, but he didn't show his true colors, until about a month before the wedding, when he thought he had her trapped. Luckily she got out alive. I felt so bad for her. I was working at a large pet store, in the tropical fish department. One busy weekend a very well dressed, rather snobby woman came in, and bought 6 baby angel fish, each about the size of a dime, plus the fins. The store I worked, in was inside a huge high end shopping mall, so we had a holding service, where we would bag up fish, cash the customer out, and float the fish, in their bags, in a warm tank, until the customer was finished all their shopping, and ready to leave for home. As a matter of course, I offered to hold this lady's baby angel fish. She said she was all good, and left. We thought nothing of it, since many of our customers came in from outside the mall, just to stop at the pet store, and didn't bother visiting the rest of the mall. Four or five hours later, she stormed back into the store demanding a manager, and a refund. She was shaking the bag in our faces for emphasis, yelling that her gorgeous angels were all dead. On close inspection, we discovered that the silly bitch had put the poor fish in her car, presumably so she didn't need to carry them, while she shopped for other things or returned to the store to pick them up. Unfortunately, because it was January and the temperature outside was about minus 15 deg point C, the tiny babies had frozen to death. She simply couldn't wrap her head around the idea that tropical fish cannot withstand freezing temperatures. Even when we took a tiny fish out of the bag, and showed her, that not only had ice formed on top of the once 84 deg point F water, but the dime sized fish was actually frozen stiff. Some people just shouldn't have pets. I work at a thrift store and it's not exactly returning, but we get a lot of sad donations. Like we got a father suicide recording, made for his two sons, it's like 2 hours long. I listen to the whole thing. Also there's a guy who comes in every week and donates one box of stuff. I asked him if he was moving one time and he said, no these were my wife's, she's passed now. I'm never asking someone why they are donating ever again. I worked at Toys R Us in the late 90s, before there was really a separate baby store, and we sold all the cribs and clothing, etc. Someone returned carts full of baby items from a registry. An older man came in on behalf of the mother, because the baby was still born. We accepted all items at full price with no recipes, and gave back cash. Family certainly didn't need hundreds of dollars in store credit. I used to work for an online retailer that sold baby items. Think baby memory books, clothes, toys, growth charts, etc. Someone was returning a baby memory box, where you can store items like their baby shoes and teeth for posterity. When I asked what the reason for the return was, she said it was, because they had lost the baby. You could tell in her voice, how hard that was to say. I was fresh out of college, childless, and had no idea how to react. Fortunately that was the only time I ran into that during my time there. I worked in a plus size clothing store. I helped a woman pick out a wardrobe for a two week cruise that she was going on with her boyfriend of six months. A few weeks later, she returned all the clothes unworn. I asked her if the cruise was cancelled. No, it turns out that there never was a cruise or a relationship. This guy was dating her as a prank and he and his buddies schemed to see what they could get the girl to believe. She thought he was in love with her and wanted to move in together soon. His parting words to her were, like anyone would really date a fat ass like you. Nobody will see this, but I'm on the other side of the coin. Here, last fall, my dad decided to finally get his hearing checked and assessed for hearing aids. He really needed them. He wanted to be able to hear his first grandbaby, my daughter, Koo and Babel, when she was born in January. Unfortunately, the ones that worked the best for him were outside the budget he and my mom could afford. Husband and I decided Santa would gift them to him. He cried. His new ears gave him a new lease on life. He was happy, chatty and interactive during family get togethers, because he could actually hear everyone else enough to participate. Fast forward to January, and he is the happiest, most doting of grandpas. He was the first person to hold her, after my husband. Dad started feeling sick in February. He died on April 12, 2016. Baby was just 10 weeks old. My mom has been largely unable to handle things in the wake of his death. 
among all of the other things that I've handled for my family because it's just too hard on everyone else. Mom asked if I would do something with his ears. I ended up calling the hearing aid shop and asking if they knew of any donation program where someone could benefit from the use of his ears. We actually ended up donating them to an elderly woman who was having difficulty communicating with her family and couldn't afford new ears of her own. Dad would have liked that. I like to think she can hear her grandbabies giggle and laugh. Now, I have declined the opportunity to meet her. I don't think my heart could take it. Not yet, anyway. A guy came into a jewelry store and wanted help to find his wife something nice. Throughout the process he told me that they were having problems and he thought they were going to split up. He was lovely but slightly weird for whatever reason. Anyhow, he bought her a diamond ring and left. Exactly two days later he returned, sad and asked if he could have a refund as she had split up with him. Turned out their problems were about how much money he was spending and so she wasn't exactly thrilled he had gone and bought her diamonds. I worked at a vitamin store. The most commonly bought item were weight loss slash control pills that had ephedra in them. Xenadrine and the store brand equivalent were the most popular of those next to hydroxicut. Our store sent memos that due to recent problems with the products we would be honoring full refunds, even if the product was opened and mostly used. The people returning them were tweaked to their follicles. Shaking, sputtering saying I I I see can't take this stuff in anymore. It it's mm making my heart pee pound to f fast. And I'm just like okay. It's okay. <laughs> Worked at a clothing store that was popular with teens. A spoiled tween came to the register, accompanied by her mom, and laid out easily $500 worth of clothing, probably around 20 plus tops, 5 pairs of jeans, a jacket, shorts, sandals, etc. As I'm ringing up this absurd amount of items, another girl, I assume the first girl's friend, joins the tween and her mom. As she approaches, I realize the friend must have recently underwent chemo. She was probably a tween as well, completely bald and frail. She approaches the girl and her mom with a single tank top. Friend, is it okay if I get this? Mom, sure, but Susan needs to put back one of her items. Daughter, no way, mom. Profanity laden verbal assault on her mother ensues. Right square bracket. Mom decides to purchase about $500 of clothes for the daughter, while the cancer-stricken friend returns the $10 tank top. I continue despondently ringing everything up, hating the world. Not sad as in makes you cry, but sad as in what the fuck is wrong with you. Our returns policy was extremely lenient, and if you complained, well our managers would let you return anything. This lady comes in with a pair of dirty, worn, broken shoes and asks for a refund. I ask for a receipt. She bought them 3 months ago. So I told her she wasn't getting a refund. But lo and behold, my manager came along and gave her a brand new pair of shoes. Who the fuck tries to return a pair of shoes they've worn to the bone? I work in a clothing store and a gentleman came in with his wife because he had lost 80 pounds and needed new clothes because his old ones wouldn't fit, obviously. I congratulated and jested that he must be working out every day to lose that kind of weight. He replied that cancer was the cause of the weight loss and not exercise as I so jointly suggested. He understood when I apologized and still bought clothes 